we have to be honest. We have not, we have not progressed. We have not um, made things better. We set out a vision at Real in 1992. We've not achieved that. So let's ask why. Why are we failing? Why are we not? Why are we worse off 20 yeah. years later? What would be your answer? Why are things not changing? It's a very difficult question. Why are things not changing? And it's something I think about all the time. A, a, a huge challenge that we have is, I think, an issue of a crisis in governance. And I don't just mean of nations, but I think we're talking a crisis in governance for humanity. Yeah. Because who, this is how I felt when I was at Rio Plus 20. Who's driving, who's driving the ship? Who is directing yeah. where our whole species is going? Who has our human interests yeah. at heart? Yeah. And so the power dynamic is just such that I just wonder, you know, do we even have democracies? You know, do, are we actually, do we have governments? Do we have a governance system for the planet yeah. that actually is fighting for the people? is actually fighting for what's the best for our human survival. Yeah. So how can we solve this crisis, oh. this governance crisis? Yeah, I'm asking the tough questions Yeah, these are really, <laughs> and they're excellent questions. You know, they're the questions we have to ask. Yeah. How can we address these governance issues? Well, I mean, we need to support and engage in um, the alliances of people who are addressing how do you strengthen yeah. democracy? And I yeah. think, you know, um, comfort breeds complacency. So we're not we're not yet fighting hard for our democracy, but I think it's coming. Um, we have to invest ourselves in revolution. Yeah. That's what we need. We need change. There's so many systems right now that are broken. The economy, the globalized economy, and this um, premise of economic growth as the only healthy way to run an economy is obviously a fallacy. And it's not just the left that's saying this. It's economists all over the world that are saying this. We have institutional crises, IMF, World Bank, these these, these governance system, structures, um, and, well, their internal governance is crumbling as well. We're going to see huge institutional change over the next few years. We have revolutions all over the planet in Africa and the Middle East. And I mean, there are times in history when it's just a period of revolution. So where do you think change will come from? Change is happening. Change is happening. It's happening in communities. Change is happening. And I think we need to foster and nurture the change that is happening. And I think it's really happening at grassroots. So it's going to creep up on us. But I mean, I just keep on hearing of more and more little things that seem to be indicators and are trickling up. And we've got to foster this notion that uh, this notion to, to, to companies and business and people who pride themselves on being cutting edge, that if you want to be current, if you want to be relevant in the 21st century society, you have, to throw, you have to throw away that old school way of doing things because there's something happening and you're going to be left behind. And we have to surround ourselves with those stories of success and those visionary ways of living because that is how things suddenly become a reality. I mean, the future doesn't exist. A vision doesn't exist until you create it. And so these are the things that we have to actively foster and create. Yeah. You know, we have an opportunity right now to dedicate ourselves to change. And I think, you know, when I think about society and I think about history and I think about who were the people who were the real revolutionaries, who were the warriors for a society, and it's young people. They have nothing to lose and they have everything to lose, which is their whole future and their opportunities. So yeah. now is the time to do it. It's very exciting. <laughs>